Hello, it's Luna, and this is going to be a different kind of video. Um, I'm still working on the editing and scripts for year three of Whisper Clan because it's taking forever. We have a couple more cats that have joined, and I have been trying to focus more of my attention on um, putting more writing into it and talking more about the characters rather than what just what happens in the game. So I have a really long script going, so it's, I don't know how much longer it's going to be until I'm able to post that, but just to make up for um, the lack of Whisper Clan content, I decided to make a pretty short and casual video of what I thought the cats in Whisper Clan would look like as real life cats, because why not? <laughs> um, I was kind of working on like a voice claim video as well, but it, that that takes a lot longer because I can't decide what I want each cat to sound like. I mean, like, I have an idea of what I want them to sound like in my head, but it's hard to find the voices. Like, Barley Star has been surprisingly difficult, because I'll find, like, voices that I think could sound like her, but it doesn't have the personality that she has. So, I don't know. I don't know if um, that video will come anytime soon. Year 3 of Whisper Clan will probably come sooner than that, but we'll just focus on the video we have right now, which is uh, what they look like in real life. I basically just kind of went around online looking up like different descriptions of cats and finding pictures that I felt would represent the cats best. So, of course, starting off, we have Barley Star as a tortoise shell cat or a little tortie cat. Um, in the game, she is mostly black with a pretty orange tail. Of course, the patterns aren't going to be accurate. Um, one, because I don't know how I would type in a detailed description like that. And two, because a lot of the cats in our game aren't very realistic. With maybe the colors are fine, but with the patterns, it's mostly not very realistic to what cats actually look like in real life. But this was the closest I could find for Barley Star. Um, you can definitely see that the pictures of the cats have more orange than she has and that the orange is distributed differently. But, I mean, it's it's pretty accurate. I tried to find, like, a longer-haired, fluffy tortie with maybe yellowish-orange eyes. So I have these two pictures. The first one is from felineliving.net. Second one is from, like, iStock Photo. But, yeah, that's Barley Leaf. Uh, not Barley Leaf. That used to be her name. <laughs> Barley Star. That's the best I could do for that one. Um, oh, by the way, the this is the um, the roster for year two. So the deputy in year two was Raintail. Since, it, I mean, if you watched year three, then you would know who the deputy changed to. But in year three, Raintail did retire. So this is just going to be focusing on the roster for year two. So here's Raintail's deputy. He was actually a bit easier than I thought he was going to be to find um, pictures for. He's a bit taller with very tall ears, big ears. So I just typed in like oriental, white, stuff like that. And I think that pretty much confirms that he would be an oriental cat, maybe kind of cream, white colored. Uh, the second photo from litterrobot.com, I did actually get to find an oriental with a striped tail that he kind of has in game. So that was nice. And the first picture was from, I think, a video on YouTube by a channel called Ronnie Animal World. That was the best, like, credit I could find for that picture. I don't know if that's where it originated, but that's where I found it. Uh, here we have Cotton Cinder, where this definitely isn't going to... This is one of the least... Not least, I don't want to say that. It's one of the less accurate depictions because Cotton Cinder is very blue-toned and it's going to be really hard to find a Bengal cat that is a grayish blue. There are gray-blue cats, but I couldn't find that color for this specific kind of cat because her patterning is spottish, like sort of leopard. Leopard? Is that leopard? You know what I mean. She's, she's a Bengal, pretty much. So I basically found a darker gray bengal cat for cotton cinder so you see the little spots on her back and some of the stripes but that's gonna be cotton cinder i thought about editing the picture a little bit so i could make a joke of like oh this is what she would actually look like and i would just tone it to be more blue but it ended up not turning out so it's whatever this is cotton cinder uh next we have one of our other medicine cats destiny so destiny was a little bit tricky to look for pictures for because 
I it took me so long to figure out how to find more red toned cats. Apparently, the best way to find red cats rather than orange cats is to type in russet, like russet red, russet colored cats. But she is more orange than red, so I guess this works. Uh, the first picture is from at Cat Lives Matter on Twitter. Yes, I'm calling it Twitter instead of X because that's that's what it is. Uh, the second picture, I couldn't find the source for it. Funny enough, I tried to reverse image search this uh, picture on YouTube, not YouTube, on Google. Reverse image search it on Google. And this picture was used on multiple websites for like Warriors fanfics and pages. So the second picture is pretty popular with the Warriors fandom, apparently. I mean, I understand that's a pretty good looking cat. So pretty much just like a russet slash dark ginger slash ginger cat. Um, neither of these cats really have the most green eyes, which is what Destiny has, but I didn't really focus too much on the eye color because that's just, that's just getting more detailed. If I really wanted accurate pictures, I would have to use AI and I don't know how to use AI. And I would rather just use pictures of real cats because I know some of those pictures when you try to make them on like any sort of AI website get really weird looking. I did find a couple of weirdly like AI generated cats that kind of gave me nightmares. So it's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be totally accurate, but that's destiny. I especially like the first picture because it has those like, um, those sharper dark red markings that go like around her eyes. And you can see a bit of like, I guess lighter orange, a little bit of yellow um, on like her face and on her chest sort of. So I think that's probably the closest I'm going to get with Destiny. It's fine. Uh, here we have Okus. He was so hard <laughs> to find a good depiction of because apparently typing in broad shouldered cat is a very warriors thing to do. Like that's not a normal thing, which is understandable because you don't tend to dis describe cats as muscular and broad shouldered. Um, I did try typing in big buff red cat and that just gave me a Pokemon Incineroar, which is not what I was looking for. <laughs> but this was the closest I could get. I couldn't find any pictures of like the full body. But I like this one because the cat in this picture looks like kind of serious, a little angry, well not angry, maybe a little grumpy, like Ogoose looks, even though his personality isn't very grumpy or angry, he just, he just kind of has a resting, a resty angry face, <laughs> but I mean, if you take a look at the, of the cat in the picture, it, I, I could see it, it's still not the most accurate, he doesn't quite have a white muzzle, but he has a lighter muzzle, it's, it's close enough, it's fine, but it's a pretty cat anyway, so I'll take it. Uh, after Ogus's Fallow Splinter, Fallow Splinter was so unreasonably hard to find a good depiction for. This was the best one I could find. I don't know what to say. Um, he, I want to say the way he looks, it could be best described as a Abyssinian. I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure how to say it, but it's something like that, like an Abyssinian cat because he's not quite a tabby, like he is a primarily single colored as orange. He doesn't have stripes like tabbies do. And most of the orange cats that I could find were tabbies and did have patterns on their fur. And well, you can see Fellow Splinter doesn't have those patterns. So I don't know if this cat is an Abyssinian, but a lot of the results that came close to what I could use for Fellow Splinter were that breed of cat this was the best I could find. I'm sure there's a better picture out there, but I, d I wasn't about to spend like hours <laughs> on trying to find the perfect picture. This is really just for fun and to help me get content out. But after Fallow Splinter is this really interesting picture that I found on a subreddit called Confusing Perspective. If you look closely, this is actually two cats, which is kind of cheating, but I don't really care. Look, Halau Tail was the absolute most difficult to find a picture for because you don't just have cats that are straight up like upper bodies orange, lower bodies an entirely different color. 
Like every time I found or I tried to look up an orange and white cat, they would just be a white cat with like orange markings rather than what Hello Tail has. Um, and I know in the picture, the orange and white is switched, but if you do switch it, it's pretty much her. Like the white cat even has heterochromia like Hello Tail does. This was probably the most accurate picture I could find online of Hello Tail. So if you just like imagine the orange and white switching, that's, that's basically her. It, it's, it's pretty much her. Uh, moving on, Silver was also a little unreasonably hard to find a comparison for. I kept trying to look up, like, silver cats, silver and white cats, but I, for some reason, just couldn't find anything. I know this isn't her pattern in the game, but I, I straight up could not find, I don't know, a light silver and white cat that actually looked like her. I mean... Maybe I'll find a better picture later, but it doesn't matter because, once again, this is just a quick video. This is Silver. I was also looking for pictures that kind of accurately, or at least could be compared to being similar of their body types because Silver is, has a very, like, tall, sleek figure. I even tried looking up Silverstream in real life because she kind of reminds me of Silverstream, like very elegant looking and silver and all of that. But there really weren't that many results. Maybe I'm just bad at using Google. This is the closest I could find. I think I did a little bit better on her kids. I think Woodhusk is next. Yeah, Woodhusk. Um, this is just of the face rather than the full body. I really just tried looking up um, cream colored, white colored cats and looking for any cats that were a bit on the fluffier side, because Woodhusk isn't really a short hair. He's definitely fluffy with long hair. This was the closest I could find. Just imagine that cat with, like, blue eyes and maybe, like, comically long hair on the top of his head. <laughs> but, I mean, it, I, I'm looking at this cat, and I could imagine him as Woodhusk. Is it totally accurate? No, but that's okay. Uh, Frond Feather, I think, is pretty spot on. <laughs> That, that's also just a cute kitty. Even the tail is pretty similar, being a bit on the shorter side, thinner side. Um, I know the markings aren't totally accurate, but the face markings are pretty spot on. Of course, I wasn't going to find a, a white and black cat that was blue toned, because once again, it's that's not the most realistic thing. We're not going to see a black and white cat that's blue toned like frowned feather heads. Um... But, I mean, this cat even has green eyes. I think this is one of the better ones I found. That's Ron Feather. He's looking super cute. I also thought about putting in a picture of Bluey because I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I was showing the drawings of my cats to my boyfriend, and he said that Ron Feather looked like Bluey. <laughs> and I thought that was really funny. And now that comment alone, like, increased my love for Ron Feather. <laughs> Ron Feather looks like Bluey. I think it's cute. I think we just have a couple more. Clover Splash. Um, how did I do Clover Splash? This was a picture I found on Shutterstock, and then you see, like, the credit on the picture itself, so that made it a little bit easier for me to, like, continue to cite my sources. Oh, yeah, uh, Frond Feather was from Shutterstock as well. So was Woodhusk. Wow, okay. But for Clover Splash, I basically looked up... What did I look up? Something like black, charcoal white tabby anything like that because he has stripes like he has a lot of stripes actually and of course i wasn't going to find anything spot on for his facial markings because even for his facial markings i kind of took some creative liberties with it when i was working off of the sprite of his in game um the colors themselves that's probably the closest we're gonna get his black markings are definitely on the darker side, and once again, he is blue-toned. Not gonna find a cat that's blue-toned like the drawings are, but I I could imagine this guy's Clover Splash. Once again, eye color is not the same. Eye color doesn't really matter. This is Clover Splash. He's looking pretty cute. And then our last one is Rook Thunder. I thought Rook Thunder would be a lot harder to find a picture for because lilac colored cats seem so uncommon at least on google for finding pictures of them but rook thunder is definitely a lilac colored cat long furred definitely 
think one of the larger, if not the largest cats in Whisper Clan. And the picture is a little bit low quality, but I mean, that's pretty much Rook Thunder, like lilac colored, very long furred, looks big. I, even the eyes, like even if they're not too colored, if you squint your eyes, it kind of looks like her eyes. That was probably the best picture I was going to find because, like I said, lilac-colored cats aren't the most common to find on Google. But, yeah, I mean, tell me how I did. This was a little bit, well, it, it was actually pretty fun. <laughs> it was a little bit frustrating at times to find, like, pictures that actually looked like each of the cats, especially Halautail. Oh my gosh, she drove me insane. But... I mean, if you find a better picture for any of these cats, let me know, and I'd love to see it. I think I did a pretty good job with, I mean, Barley Star, how close are you really going to get with her? She is a tortie. What tortie are you going to find that totally matches her markings? Raintail, I mean, it's it's pretty much Raintail. The markings are off, but no one's markings are going to be totally accurate. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have. This was just a short video. I'm surprised I even made it to 16 minutes. But once again, let me know what you think. If you find a more accurate picture, let me know. Maybe link it in the comments. I don't know. But next time I see you guys, it'll probably be year three of Whisper Clan. So yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.